back to the spider's web and it's prone player time. We're starting off with spaceship exterior and we're painting all the armour. So yes, as, as usual, all the armour plating will get um, a covering of this spaceship exterior and then we'll uh, highlight up to white later on. Now, the prone player doesn't have much to do on the on the board, on the pitch, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's just a case of if the player gets knocked over, then you can either lie the, lie the miniature on its side or replace it with uh, one of these prone players. And all I can basically do is stand up. It's just a nicer way of showing that uh, a player's been knocked off his feet, I suppose. And it saves some of the aggro of lying the uh, lying a player down. That way they don't roll too much or slide about, I suppose. But yeah, I do like these. Uh, I do like the, the minis, even though the sculpts are a bit flat and the details are a bit shallow. Um, I still like them. So we will be moving on to the Indige players fairly soon because I have actually finished all of these Neobot uh, minis. And I'm still trying to uh, think of a name for this particular team. Um, I have put a message in the description bar um, in regards to what suggestions have been made. So we have the Sintalins Crushers, the Sintalins uh, Crusaders and the Sintalins um, Cardinals. There are three of the names, if you can think of any more, please let me know. If not, then let me know which of the three choices you like. Um, I'm going to leave this open for a couple more weeks and we'll say I might even put a poll up. Um, Hopefully, you'll be able to add to or vote on the um, what we call it, vote on the suggestions or the ideas we've had so far. Um, <clears throat> so, as you can see, we're going round all the armor um, parts. We're leaving that ball catching glove or contraption, whatever it may be, um, in this dark greyish colour because. That is going to be part of the mechanical um, aspect of this particular team. As I mentioned in each video, I think that uh, this is a robot team, so beneath the um, beneath the um, plating, there's just me me mechanic mechanical parts. There's no organic parts there, so. Uh, that's the reason it's basically a case of uh, metallic colours underneath this white. <clears throat> and once again, if you're new to well, if you're new to these videos, I'm going to uh, basically give you an introduction to the uh, music that we have in the background here. It's by Ian Cleverden. mine who's given me permission to use his music to add in the background and you'll hear some more stuff from uh, Ian in other videos that I'm doing uh, because he's given me permission to uh, use not just his own music but with the I'll put some of the music that he's done with his as part of his acoustic duo the Hewers so you will be hearing more from uh, Ian and the Hewers Especially if you listen, to, if you watch these dead ball, dead ball um, videos, you will have this music in the background. This is from his latest album, and all the details are in the description bar. So if you enjoy this music, you can uh, get onto the website and uh, get yourself a copy. So 
looks like we've nearly finished with the uh, spaceship exterior. Just trying to get a, a nice flat coverage so that the white will go on rather cl as clean as I can possibly get it. <coughs> so, uh, just going to clean our brush off and then we can get on with the next part which is the rough iron for all the this is the base color for all the mechanical parts as i mentioned earlier so starting with the ball catching glove i call it a glove i don't know what it will be but uh, glove is as good a word as any to use i suppose because it's attached to the hand <laughs> and <coughs> See, I'm making point of going over all the circular um, bits that are on the joints, the side of each joint. They're not very well um, moulded or very well defined, but they're there, so I want to uh, make sure they get painted. <clears throat> Make sure the sides and the front of the helmet are done as well. <coughs> now, as you can see, I'm still not very good at keeping the miniature in full view of the camera. But you've got the idea so far from what we're doing, or from, the, from what I've done on camera, that you can see where we're going with this. Quite sure whether we've actually changed colour or whether we've just gone back into the uh, spaceship exterior. I think that's what we've done. I don't think we've gone into the white yet. <coughs> I just think um, the covering wasn't as good as I thought it was, so we just need some more to flatten it out a little bit and clean it up, especially around on the uh, rough iron parts. So what's next? Now we're going on to the white. <laughs> we're making sure all the raised areas that are going to be hit by light are done. We can leave some of the lower areas that aren't going to be hit by light. We can leave some of those um, as just the space of exterior but at the moment with this I'm not really too bothered about getting a good um, good highlighting technique with it. I haven't so far bothered with it because as I said the quality of the minis are brilliant and I'm just treating them as game pieces rather than display pieces so I'm not going overboard with any of it but you can see though that the white is showing up really well against that um, spaceship exterior with it being a slightly off white pale grey um, but it is an off white it's a bit paler than chewing gum white this Vallejo white paint is uh, going on rather nicely over the top of it. <coughs> yes, I found most of this went really quickly when I was painting uh, the five remaining ones um, and I did the spaceship exterior part with a the, with the airbrush um, it went really quickly doing the last five which were the uh, two sorry three guards and two strikers
Campbell, I think is it for the whites. And next one we're going into uh, highlighting the metal areas with plate mail metal. So this will be going over the areas of rough iron. Just dabbing it over here and there just to brighten it up a little. I don't want it to look too silver. Just making it look up, just putting a little bit of brightness into that rough iron, not doing anything more. And now finally the pure red. And this one, this will be for the V on the front of the on the chest armour and a little part on the shoulder armour as well. And as I've mentioned in each of the videos, I think this V and the colour scheme is a nod to my uh, hometown or my town or the town where I was born and brought up was St. Helens and this is the um, the colours for the rugby team so we're doing the that red V and then there's a little bit on the shoulder pads which I do as well on these particular ones which Obviously, you can't see at the moment, but you will do in a minute. There we are. It's just that outside edge there that we're doing. And it's just to break up all the white a little bit more. I don't do that on all of the um, different types of player for this game. It's... Um, I usually find that there's a few differences with, uh, with the style of the, the robot. But now we're going over the base with black. You see, I'm not really, I'm not wasn't bothered at all about the clear base because the, the actual base that the robot was attached to that sits in the middle wasn't clear anyway so it just looks rather weird to me so there we are that's him finished but hang on a second let's go back to the guard that we did at first I'm not happy with the shoulders so we're going back into rough iron I'm going to paint these little bits on the shoulders there's three little um, raised areas there and over the top of the dome so half dome on the uh, on the shoulder pad there is a strip as well so we're just going to paint those just to break up all that white and then after we do this we're going to obviously come back in with the plate mail, me plate mail metal words out and that is that <clears throat> so mm -hmm. there's a plate mail metal I'm going to do a few little touches over these unfortunately it's a little bit watery so I managed to flood the area so I'm putting wipe it off and then put some more on and that will be it for this video I hope you've enjoyed it. All that remains now is to bring back the Chrome player. But from now, for now, from me, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now. Stay safe. See you next time.